But for most American women, one thing they might want is to be paid the same as men. And one prominent man currently agrees. Women deserve equal pay for equal work. Equal pay kicked off your presidency. It's become really a theme, one of the themes of, of your time here. Uh, unfortunately, as is so often the case for this president, his laudable goal was muddled right from the outset. Today, the average full-time working woman earns just 77 cents for every dollar a man earns. Equal pay for equal work. It's not that complicated. Yeah, it shouldn't be that complicated. And as long as he hasn't overlooked something which complicates this significantly, everything should still be on track. In 2013, female staffers in the Obama White House were paid less than 88 cents for every dollar paid to male staffers. And with that, all anyone could focus on was not how to fix this problem, but how to quantify it. The Labor Department itself, the president's own Labor Department, says it's 81 cents. Another federal study, for example, says the disparity is more like 88 cents for every dollar. The studies do show that when you do the controlling, there's about a 9% gap. The wage gap is really somewhere between five and seven cents. Women who do not get married have virtually no wage gap. They earn 96 cents for every dollar a man makes. Look, look, even if 96 cents is the number, which it isn't, it's still terrible. The one Equal Pay Act in Congress has already been killed and there is seemingly nothing on the horizon. But to listen to some, that's not a problem. Because not only does the gap barely exist, if it does, it's actually women's fault. Women make different choices about what kinds of jobs they seek. Uh, they make different choices in reaction to marriage and childbirth. When those things, those factors are taken into consideration, studies have indicated that the pay gap all but evaporates. Classic. <laughs> Women are paid less because they choose to have children. Th the second popular argument for why the wage gap is women's fault is that they choose to enter lower paying professions. When you compare men and women in the same positions and with the same experience, the same uh, education, there, there is no pay gap. You need to look at, yes, what the, what the position is and, and you need to compare apples to apples, not pick and choose. OK, apples to apples. OK, well, in which case, I actually have a question for you. How do you like these apples? A recent study out of Yale University um, that is uh, interesting where uh, professors were given uh, the identical resume. Uh, one was had the name John on the top and one had the name Jennifer on top. And the uh, male candidate was rated more favorably. And really? They were offered on average $4,000 more than the female candidate. OK, OK, so it seems we either address the root of this problem and fight entrenched sexism in our society. Don't despair just yet, because apparently if women can just hang in there, there is hope. If you're unmarried and childless between the age of 35 and 43, the, the statistics show you make a dollar eight on average uh, to every male dollar. Paying people less for the same work is clearly wrong. Even monkeys know that. Now, now some people are always going to want to pay women less, even if it is, let's say, 83 cents on the dollar.